Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you a new Nancy Drew analysis video. Today's video is a special one because I have a guest. Say hello, guest. Hi. <laughs> So I have Mr. Wizard Kitten with me today. The point of today's analysis video is to try and get an idea of what the Nancy Drew experience is like for an outsider. And by outsider, I mean someone who has never played the games, who has minimal experience with the books. Do you have any experience with the books? No, I've never read one of the books. No I've, experience with the books. I've read one or two Hardy Boys. Um, okay, that gives you some background. I, who is the superior Hardy Boy? I have no idea. It's the Hardy Boys. They don't have any character. They do. They, maybe in these games, but in the books, <laughs> it's just, no. Never played the games, never read a Nancy Drew book, and you're not necessarily the main target demographic for these kinds of games either. Admittedly, yeah. Would you consider yourself a fan of video games, even? Barely, really. I mean, I don't hate them by any means, but I only play Super Smash Bros. I'm a Nintendo guy. But I feel like that does not make me a video game guy. Have you ever played school. a point-and-click game? No, I have not. But they have never sounded appealing to me <laughs> in any way. So. Well, you're wrong, and and we'll prove it. <laughs> it just I don't understand the appeal, the mechanics of it. What do you know about Nancy Drew? I know that she is empowering to young girls who read her books. I answer. respect her for that, definitely. So basically. I'm not the core demographic of these games. You don't really like video games. I don't super love video games because there's not going to be, I'm assuming Donkey Kong or Mario <laughs> or Link don't make an appearance. That would be an interesting crossover, but no. Okay. And I've never read a Nancy Drew book, and I'm not particularly hot on mysteries either, so. So basically, we have as much of an outsider as we can possibly get. Good old Mr. Wizard Kitten here is in for a treat. I've decided to go easy on him and introduce him to the series with what I believe to be the easiest Nancy Drew game. This is the eighth mystery in the Nancy Drew series, and this mystery is the Haunted Carousel. You, sir, are in for a treat, though, because this it's a pleasant one. It's fun. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game, and I'm just going to guide you through this. First, Make sure you're paying attention now. disappeared off the carousel one night. Important backstory. A then a little later, the carousel started spinning around all carousel. by itself in the dead of night, as if it was yeah. haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was well. shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right this now and meet with a security guard named side or Carlin something? Bishop. Joycey. I hope I don't let oh, Paula okay. down. So Wish like me luck. Island Every year. Okay, so I'm here due to a missing horse Yep. on a carousel. Yeah, that's mysterious. Where'd the horse go, Mr. Wizard Kitten? Solve the mystery. <laughs> I feel like this mystery probably falls the least in magnitude compared to the other mysteries. Is that a fair guess? The first as far one as through stakes? seven. Yeah, stakes. Or like the seed of the mystery. Like, hey, let's call a detective. There's a missing horse on the carousel. <laughs> we need not you know, clearly our local police department can't handle this. We need outside help. I'm going to call Nancy Drew. But the carousel famous detective is haunted. Who solved at least seven mysteries prior to this point. The carousel is haunted, Mr. Wizard Kitten. It's a haunted carousel with a missing horse. That, good sir, is what Nancy is Is that a chicken for. egg situation? Where it, was it, is it haunted now that the horse is missing? Or was it haunted I don't know. Why don't you go find the, out? You know, what came first is my question. I don't know. Go find out. Oh, Figure yeah. out something to do. I'm in the Captain's Quarters Hotel. You sure are. It's a good hotel. Is it? They looks, have room service. Looks pretty, pretty rinky-dink. Well, pretty move around. Explore it a little bit. Oh, the point-and-click exploration. Here I go. Yeah. What an open world we live in. <laughs> I love Gotta use your imagination a little bit. Well, These are well-designed. I imagine... Well very well designed. I mean, this screensaver, who doesn't have a dolphin screensaver? This was made in like, okay, let me check. When was this game made? This was also made in 2005. So think about the background capabilities in 2005. The background capabilities, as far as I know, you still could have done anything as your background. Maybe Nancy likes dolphins. It's a possibility. She clearly so far, has we're not, some fondness. We're not solving the mystery here. I will solve this mystery. Sure you will. 
<laughs> All right, let's take, let's inspect the dolphin a little bit more. So, I wish that you could get even closer right now. I'm clicking like five times, and I can't because I want to see what's in this dolphin's eyes. Is it a suspect? It's the first living thing I've seen in the game. You see, part of being a good detective is knowing what's a clue and what is definitely not a clue. Well, part of being a good detective is making sure you don't rule anything out. I think that you have a lot to learn from me coming into this. <laughs> I, I think we can safely assume the dolphin had nothing to do with this. Do something. You've literally done nothing. I beg to differ. Maybe they're busy polishing their freshly acquired uh, carousel horse, the people at Megadata. Okay, it's a theory. It could also just be an explanation for why Nancy can't write emails in this game, but well, we've got fair a, enough. We've got a sketchy dolphin so far as a suspect and a suspect corporation. This is completely unnecessary, but you can play the mini game if you feel like it. No, I've, I've got a mystery to solve. I'm focused here. All right, then back up. How do I back up? <laughs> Check out the carousel. Oh, really? Why isn't that top of the list? You came here because of this She's putting missing them in order. carousel horse. I don't know. I mean, I, if it's I like to rank my checklist in order of priority. If it's top of the list, why haven't you gone to look at the carousel yet? Great question. Eight. No, no. Room service. Room service menu. All oh, right. She's very excited to look this over the room This is good service. food. Look at this stuff. Oh, yeah. Milk. <laughs> don't do, you already feel like you're in Jersey? I do feel immersed in this crappy hotel room. <laughs> you do know you can <laughs> leave the crappy hotel room, right? I would love to know how. I should you probably would go just out find the door. door. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, go in. Explore the park. Enter the whale. That's an instruction I will never follow. Hello. You uh. The whale is waiting. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's why I just love point and click. The freedom it provides you. <laughs> I'm just worried about this guy. His random turning. Yeah. Uh, you gonna turn to me? <laughs> or does he just do it randomly? I thought that for a second it was the microphone. No, he does do it when you do or it. The magnifying scope, okay. Magnifying scope? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Magnifying glass. <laughs> well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gate crasher. Um. Talk to Harlan. Don't just stand there. I guess. Oh, I get to pick what I say. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah. There we go. Freedom. I was more just sort of taking in Harlan's beauty. I wonder who gave Harlan his Botox. Because his <laughs> lips are pretty stiff. Oh god. Yes. Hello. I'm very glad that this is how you're spending your time solving this case. Some traffic cones, fire extinguishers, two megaphones. I'll uh, give you a hint. Typically only things that you can look at are important. Well, first, let's look at her room. That's definitely what normal people do, is walk into a room with a stranger and not say anything to the stranger. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. That was a nice way to say, get out of my office, Joy. <laughs> but I still heard you in exactly the way you intended. But give me some more things to point and click to. The adventure awaits. All right, Ingrid. Oh yeah, the psychobiomagic person. You did want to meet Ingrid. I know, I did. I want to go now, because that was my end game with talking to Joy. Unarmed. All right. That means you don't have to put in a code and the door is open. <laughs> then how do I get back? Find a back arrow. It's not letting me. <laughs> no. Are you gonna let her turn around and talk to her? Or you're just gonna stare at Ingrid's back. Uh. Looking for someone? Uh, if you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. You've got B3 issues. <laughs> B3. Look, we knew Ingrid was a little quirky. Just roll with the punches. Okay. I do? I do? Vitamin B3. Niacin. Oh, goodness. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Oh, Nothing yeah, the psycho magic. Peanut butter on a uh, what do I, and I have four options. If you want to leave, you can say thanks for your help. Yeah, I do. Thanks for your help. <laughs> One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Oh, Never mind goodness. that you'd get lots of interesting clues. You can go explore. That's well, I know that I would get clues, but you know, I want to point and click at more stuff. No, you're very video, confused. <laughs> it's not that I'm confused. It's that I 
I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> How about you go ride the carousel? Or explore the carousel instead of staring at it? Been on the oh, carousel. demon, demon clam the way, with the eyes lit. Four fun credits left on your car. See? Enjoy the yep. ride! Ha -ha. I see. Okay, now you're gonna ride the carousel. Oh man, I like four fun credits. The carousel will be starting in three seconds. You can try to get the brass so ring. So hang on tight, and don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! Where's the brass ring? It'll come up. You gotta keep your eye out Do for I it. Do I click right on it? You do. Okay. My magnifying glass hands. Here it comes. Get ready. You see it? You get it. Oh, you missed it. Oh. I'll find it again. One more chance. You only go around twice on this carousel? Yeah. What a terrible carousel. I know. I it, it, it's also kind of broken. I don't know if it's it haunted, but it is bad. The ring. Oh, you missed. I gotta be right on? Yep, I gotta be right on. Who's even checking? The robotic clam? There's no employee here. <laughs> Nancy Why don't they go and morals. snatch the brass ring? Because Nancy has a weird moral compass where sometimes she steals things and sometimes she doesn't. This character, this robot with a tricycle head, yep. you mean? Yep, I want you to meet him. This character. Mm-hmm. Yet, I bet, uh, here's a prediction, he'll probably be my favorite compared to the humans. He might be. Keep going. Over here. <laughs> so far, his desperation is hilarious. Please identify yourself. Good stuff. Yeah, better than the human characters already. Good, talk to him then. I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles, the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. Did Ingrid program you? Who programmed you? It is my turn to ask a question. Ingrid did, did for sure. Why How could are she you not? here when joy is not? Why are you here when joy is not? Is that sort of like a meta commentary on my experience with the game? <laughs> <laughs> No, why no. am why am I here when Joy is not? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Miles. <laughs> Talk to Miles. Miles is gonna rat you out. The last thing I'll make you do is the puzzle. Miles is going to rat me out. Miles is gonna rat you out. Yeah. Miles wouldn't do that. Not sure we bonded. No, Miles is gonna rat you out. I don't believe you. Talk to Joy. No, I want to stare him down first. <laughs> See if he. <laughs> That's not See going if he to changes help. his mind. Nope. Talk to Joy. Do My some investigating. Access card. Investigation. Here I go. Okay, here we go. I'm in. The thrill ride continues. Alright, let's see. Ow! I'm trapped! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you uh -oh. laughing? This is suspenseful. Yeah, I'm s to get my foot loose, I need to One of my the track toes. Somehow. Don't waste time. You're going trapped. to have a problem. All right, Looks like see. I have to reconnect these wires. Oh, what do I do? All right. That's not right. Okay. Oh. Oh, did I die? You electrocuted. You electrocuted That's what Harlan yourself. said must that have very happened. Smart. I was out cold when he found me. Yeah. Now I can turn the power on and see if these oh, are properly connected. Well, I guess. You better switch I need to reverse the roller coaster to the other track. Power. Nope, you did it. Oh wow, I did it. You third, saved yourself. Third time's a charm. You didn't get crushed, you just got electrocuted. Oh yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna let a load of roller coaster take me down. I'm gonna go out by my own terms, and that's why I electrocuted myself before the roller coaster reached me. So, no, did anybody else think that this was a clam face? Am I the only one that thought this was a clam face? Let us know in the comments down below. Did you think that was a face? Like, yeah, the two eyes and the mouth. Somebody has to think like a normal person like me. Because that's a clam face. You're definitely this a takes a person. fun pass. I'll just give a shot. I'll go in blind. It's always a great way to go into a puzzle. Yeah, let's try it. That was the hard version. Another level. That was the first level of the art. Okay, thank goodness. That is not hard. Again, these games are designed to start being able to be played at age 11 up. Clearly. Right. Oh yeah, I also didn't read the directions, which is honestly, you know, a testament to my brilliance. 
let's drop past and figure this thing out. for you. I'm okay. <laughs> Any parts of this fun? Did you have did you have fun? I liked making fun of it. So that's a no? No. Again, it's just the general mechanics of pointing and clicking that I cannot get on board with. The characters I they're just flat to me. They're not very interesting, not very funny. The menus and the robots were funnier than the characters. Do you think any of the characters are suspicious? Well, yeah, the dolphin on the screensaver and the Megadata Corporation, for sure. No, but um, Harlan, I guess, if I'm going to pick the... I don't want to call them human, but the wax animatronic people. Out of those, yes, Harlan seems to be pretty sketchy, but that seems like the red herring, because he's clearly the most sketchy, so, you know, so I'm almost discounting him. But if this one's easy, then maybe he is, I don't know. That's the fun part, is you gotta figure that out. Did you have huh. fun with any of the puzzles, or the little mini games? Yeah, the puzzle one was fun at the end, despite the frustrating mechanics for I need to turn the iron no off. reason. It was just, that was pretty stupid how you have to hover over the exact minute area of pixelated image. But you admit that you did have a little bit of fun be, doing the puzzle. A little bit, and I didn't have to read the directions, so. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the music? Or the setting? No. Setting, again, the puns are fine. The setting is confusing and frustrating because my experience of this amusement park with, you know, I have nothing to pay for with fun passes, but I had to go back to Harlan each time. I hope that's not every guest's experience when this thing's actually open. Well, but they have to pay to solve... for their fun passes. Yeah, yeah, but still, it's just annoying. It's like, just give me an unlimited fun pass, please. Hello? So you're thinking a murder? Thin at best. Thin would be generous. You've only talked to them once. Oh my goodness. Joy but... has a whole backstory. There's a whole arc with Harlan. There's a whole arc with Elliot. And you learn more about Ingrid, too. There's, she has a little side If plot. I talk to you once and I don't want to talk to you again, I'm not talking to you again mm -hmm. in real life. Why would I talk to you again in the game? Okay, so what would, I would make... I just quit the game if there's nobody I want to talk to in this universe. What would make it better? I told you and told you. You want more interesting characters. More interesting characters. You'd yes, prefer please. for them to move in a more natural way. Yeah, I mean, graphics aren't the end all be all. Like, they could be, like, bad. I mean, there's no way that you could have been ironic about the top level of PC game graphics at this point in time. But it, even if it was bad graphics, even if it was 8 bit, but yet there was still an actual story and some more interesting, like, compelling writing, then. I would be into it, but... Are you sure you can judge the writing without knowing the entire plot? Yep, I think I can, because <laughs> I'm not intrigued hmm. right now at all. Would you give these games a second chance? I'll try it. If there's one that's better than this, I want to find something that might hook me to understand why you and, you know, your hundreds of subscribers enjoy this. As much as you do. Again, I respect... Don't get me wrong. Let me parse it out. I respect your enjoyment of it. I'm not yucking your yum as far as what you enjoy. I am obsessed with a lot of, you know, esoteric stuff too. I just cannot wrap my head around the appeal. Well, knowing all of that, fellow detectives, I think you should recommend one of the more modern Nancy Drew games for Mr. Wizard Kitten to attempt in a perhaps part two. And let me know in the comments if you would be interested in seeing a follow-up to this to see if we can maybe convert Mr. Wizard Kitten, a complete Nancy Drew outsider. Well, thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. This was certainly an interesting experiment, and I hope you got a couple of yucks out of it. I know I certainly did. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more like it, please hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I would love, love, love it if you would be willing to subscribe. We are so close to 500 fellow detectives, and I just absolutely love talking about these games with you, doing Sims recreations with you. It means a lot. So thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.